What's up guys? This is Keith with the Cyber and You team. Today we've got another awesome video tutorial for you. We're going to show you how to SFTP via FileZilla from a local Windows 10 host to your Linux EC2 instance. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. First thing I want to show you is my Linux EC2 um, test one instance. We're going to need this public DNS. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and copy that to the clipboard. We're going to go ahead and open up FileZilla. If you have not downloaded and installed it, there is a link in the video description. Um, you can go ahead and click that and install that really quick. Um, the first thing we want to do here is note that our Windows host, um, the file hierarchy, is on the left. So we will be connecting from um, local site to the remote site, which is going to be our EC2 instance. The first thing you want to do is go to settings, right under edit. Under connection, you're going to go to SFTP. You're going to add a key. You're going to add your PuTTY private key. If you do not have a PuTTY private key generated, um, there is another link in the description to the video that shows you how to generate a PuTTY private key from the original .pem key pair that AWS provides you with when you first launch your instance. Otherwise, if you already have your .ppk, you can go ahead and just click that. Go ahead and hit open. All right, it is imported. Cyberadmin1.ppk. Um, we're just gonna hit okay. The next thing we're gonna do is hit file. You wanna hit site manager. Um, we're gonna do a new site. We're gonna name this cyber test two. The protocol, um, we're gonna change it to SFTP, SSH file transfer protocol. And that's gonna be port 22. Here in the host field, you're gonna simply paste your public DNS that you grabbed for your EC2 Linux instance. As you can see, it's pasted right in there. Um, for long on type, we're gonna change that to normal. And for the user field, um, we're just gonna use our EC2 user default that came with the RHEL 7.6 instance. If you guys have already set up a user, um, you guys can use that, or you can use the defaults um, usernames that came with your your AMI which is either EC2 user or root um, depending on your your distribution we're gonna leave the password blank because we want to invoke your um, dot PPK or appropriate um, certificate that you loaded into the settings tab that we just walked through so we're gonna simply hit connect we're gonna click OK it changes to ask password, that's fine. Again, we're gonna leave password blank. All right, it's successfully connected to our EC2 instance, our RHEL 7.6 instance. Here's our uh, remote file structure. Um, so let's go ahead and just test this. Um, I'm gonna create a test directory within the EC2 user home directory. I'm just gonna name it test. There it is. Um, I've got this moveme.txt in my documents that I created just to show you guys how easy this is. Um, you got two ways of doing this. You can right click, upload, or you can just left click and drag this bad boy right into that directory or wherever you're trying to move files to. It's gonna prompt you like this, password's blank again. You don't have to keep unchecking, um, remember password. Um, it's blank, so I think it's gonna keep prompting us for our our certificate, our .ppk, our putty private key. So I'm gonna hit okay. All right, um, as you guys saw, it did successfully move that file. And it is now in my Linux EC2 instance under under test.
All right, guys, that is how you connect to an EC2 instance from a Windows 10 local box utilizing FileZilla for SFTP. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please like the video. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and uh, leave one. Also, go ahead and subscribe. We have a plethora of video tutorials already made, more on the horizon, um, gameplay coming, hardware reviews, uh, everything under the sun. So if you want to support us, um, we'd greatly appreciate it. We love subscriptions, so go ahead and hit that sub button. As always, thank you for watching.